Good morning to you on this Friday morning. I trust that you are well. Today we continue with Proverbs 29. We begin with verse 16. When the wicked increase, transgression increases, but the righteous will see their fall. Correct your son and he will give you comfort. He will also delight your soul. Where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained, but happy is he who keeps the law. It's quite logical that when the wicked increase, transgression will increase, but the righteous will see their fall. Jesus said about Satan that the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. Those who are wicked are working under Satan. And so when they increase, then there'll be more transgressions, there'll be more problems. But the good thing in this verse is that the righteous will see their fall. Sooner or later, every wicked person will be brought to account and will fall. Correct your son and he will give you comfort. He will also delight your soul. Over and over again, the Bible tells us that we need to correct and raise our children in the right way. At the time of correction, they may not be happy, but later on, they'll be grateful to you that you have shown them the right way in life. It's very, very important. And then where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained, but happy is he who keeps the law. This talks about when the prophets are silent, when there is nothing, the prophets are not speaking, then the people are unrestrained. We need to always be listening to the Word of God. And those of us who are called to preach God's Word need to be faithful to it. As Paul said, am I now trying to win the approval of men or of God? If I was still trying to win the approval of men, I would not be a servant of Christ. Our job is not to remain quiet. Our job is to speak the truth in love. And very often that truth throws, flies right in the face of what society is thinking or believing on many, many issues. But when we are silent, then people are unrestrained. It's important that we always speak the word and speak the truth, whether you like it or you don't. Happy is he who keeps the law. Psalm 1 tells us that too, that blessed is the man who does not walk in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of scoffers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, who meditates upon it day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water, that bears fruit in its season, its leaves will not wither, and everything he does prospers. That's the way to go. We are blessed when we keep the law. So we need to always be listening to God's word. We need to be teaching God's word. We need to be obeying God's word. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. As we start a new day again today, we thank you and bless you. We worship and praise you. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are worthy of all honor, glory and praise. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for a night's rest. Thank you that we can say along with David, when I, am awake, when I awake, I'm still with you. Thank you that you are always with us. As we are now in this beautiful time of Advent, we remember how you came, first of all, as a child. You came, you were born, you grew up, you died on the cross, you rose again, and you have returned to be with the Father, and one day you will come again. But through the Holy Spirit, you are now with us always to the close of the age. And so we thank you for that and we bless you. We thank you that we are never alone. We ask that somebody who does not know this yet, Lord, would realize this today, that this would be the day they open their hearts to you. We ask your blessing over this day. We pray for our governments and all who are in authority. We pray that you would protect them. We pray that you would give them wisdom, help them to make right decisions, help them, Lord, to serve justly and rightly. We commit to you the sick, the dying and all who are in need. We pray, Lord, for those who are in despair, for those who have no hope, for those who are hurting. We ask, Lord, that you would stretch out your hand and that you would comfort those who mourn, that you would lift up those who are feeling down. Thank you, Lord, that you love us so very, very much. We also love you. We ask that you would help us to live this day in a way that brings glory and honor to your name. We also thank you, Lord, for all our tireless hospital workers, our doctors, nurses, and pathologists and all the people that are working hard to try to keep us safe. Lord, thank you for them. Bless them today. Renew their strength. Father God, we just want to praise and worship you. We just want to take a moment to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And now hear us as we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that you have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.